Billy Letts first developed a taste for writing in her Oklahoma grammar school. Fifty years later, she wrote Where the Heart Is, a story she says just wouldn't let her go. Hollywood agreed. Get you some house shoes. Get you some green polka dot house shoes. That way everyone will be sure to notice you. Billy Letts originally wrote Where the Heart Is as a short story. Later, a New York literary agent convinced the author to develop it into a novel. Set in Oklahoma, Where the Heart Is tells the story of a 17-year-old girl. Nova Lee is broke, pregnant, and abandoned by the father of her baby at a Walmart store. No. Ma'am. I was teaching um, at Southeastern in Duran. I was teaching some non-traditional students, and most of those were women who had never finished school. Many had dropped out of school in the ninth grade, tenth grade, and they were coming to college after, uh, generally after a few years of, of uh, not very satisfying work. And so they wrote, wrote personal narratives, and I read some of their stories. It, it was very inspiring to realize that these women were attempting to go to college with very little educational background, very little support of any kind. So I think the idea sort of came out of that. Some of the young girls you were teaching. Yes, yes. What did you feel when you first went into a bookstore and saw your name on the cover of a book? Well, that's interesting because that was my fantasy. You'd that, always dreamed about that. That I would walk into a store and see a book with my name on it. And when that happened, it was in Dallas. Uh, we live in southeastern Oklahoma, and so we're in Dallas from time to time. And we knew the book was coming out, and we went to Dallas for the purpose of seeing it. And when I walked in and saw it, I, the, I, the tears started. I, and my husband cried. We just stood there and <laughs> held each other and cried and held the book. It was a... It was a monumental moment in my life. Another monumental moment had to have been when Oprah chose Where the Heart Is as her book of the month. Well, that was, that was beyond anything I could have fantasized How did you find about. out about it? I was in Oklahoma. I'd come back to my home to see about my dogs. We were in L.A. at the time, and it was just after Thanksgiving. I was there alone. The phone rang. and. And the woman who had originally called me said, my boss is on the line. Did she ever tell you who the boss was? No, she wouldn't okay. uh, tell me. And so uh, she said, I'm going to patch her through. She's at home. And the next voice was Oprah. She said, hi, Billy, this is Oprah. <laughs> and I sat down and, you know, I, I didn't think it was a joke. I, I recognized her, her voice from her show. And she said, congratulations, I've chosen Where the Heart Is is our holiday book. And then the experience of actually being on the Oprah show, I understand, was uh, quite interesting because yeah. you taped the show actually at a Walmart, which of course is where the, the story of where the, we did. where the Heart Is takes place. Tell me about that. Well, I'd watched some of the shows, the book club shows, and I'd seen them film in her home. And she has a chef who prepares the meals, and I'd seen them film in an inn in Vermont and various places, and the food was always elegant. And so we had, she had our dinner party in a Walmart just outside Chicago. <laughs> and we had corn dogs and french fries and Walmart food, but it was good, it was good. What did that mean, that kind of exposure, uh, being Oprah's book of the month, mean to where the heart is? Well, the book came out in 95, and Oprah, th this show aired in uh, January of 99. And the book had done all right. I mean, I was an unknown. I was with a good company, Warner Books, and they promoted the book. But still, it certainly wasn't a bestseller. I think it made the bestseller list in Dallas a couple of weeks. But when Oprah named it, well, they immediately printed 750,000 copies, and they reprinted within two or three weeks, I think. So almost immediately the book sold a million copies. She, she has that power. She has that following. So she names a book, and you can get on 
Amazon.com an hour later and it's number one. And of course this past summer Where the Heart Is was released as a major mm -hmm. motion picture. How did that evolve? Well, the, the book was optioned uh, before it was ever in print uh, by a studio that finally put it in turnaround, which is a Hollywood term for, we're not going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then a woman who had been with that studio moved uh, to Wind Dancer Films and took this project with her. And then it came together pretty fast, I guess, uh, given what happens in Hollywood, this huge collaboration. Okay, tell me about sitting in the theater, watching Ashley Judd, Natalie Portman, telling your story. I, what was that feeling like? I, I didn't speak. I didn't say anything. My husband leaned over and said a few things, and fortunately, my whole family was together. And uh, so they would occasionally, I could see them turn and look at me, but I was just probably open mouthed to think, uh, there's Stockard Channing saying lines that I'd written. Uh, there's the story that I told on wow. the screen. So I cried, I laughed, I had a great time. And I, you know, the, the ego kicked in and, and when my name came up there on the screen, it was so big, I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you had made it then? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I've made it yet, but it was a, it was a, wonderful experience. I had fun with this whole thing, Becky. I mean, at the age I was when I went into it, I thought I'd heard the horror stories about book tours and about writers seeing their story on a screen. I didn't have any of that. I've had a nice experience throughout. Billy Letts was born and raised in Oklahoma. Not surprisingly, she was the first in her class to learn to read. She also started writing stories at an early age. Billy says she was only nine when she first began to think about a career as a writer. I remember writing stories in school and getting a lot of attention for it. Um, my first stories were stories to scare my classmates, uh, ghosts and uh, <laughs> Ghost mummies and that sort of thing. It got me a lot of attention. Did you always get an A in English? I did well in language <laughs> arts, yeah, but I, sometimes I get go a little too far. I've got a wild imagination, and the <laughs> teachers would try to tame me down some. And what are some of the current projects you've, you're working on? Well, I, I have a, a book underway. I'm not too far into it, and I'm very superstitious talking you about, talk about it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you that it's an Oklahoma story. I can't imagine that I would write anything else. This is what I know. I've lived here all my life. Today, Billy continues to live in Oklahoma with her husband, Dennis, also a former teacher. The couple has two grown sons, and Billy tries to see them as often as possible. Over the years, she says it's her amazing family and her writing that have sustained her. As you look to the future, what do you hope it holds for Billy Letts? Oh, that's a good question, Becky. <laughs> I hope I can continue to, to write and sto write stories that uh, my audience relates to. Um, I hope I don't. I hope I don't change. I have a good life. I I am a family person, and um, I enjoy pretty simple pleasures. I'd hate to think that that I would change, and maybe because of uh, Oprah and some people who've certainly given me added success, that I might begin to think that I'm more important than I am. <laughs> <laughs>